Are you bored with the same old chicken? How about indulging in a mouth-watering delight with my easy-to-make cranberry and goat cheese stuffed chicken? Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, our celebration is all about chicken. We're making cranberry and goat cheese stuffed chicken. So let's get started. Now this is one of my favorite things in the world. I love boneless, skinless chicken breasts because they are so versatile, but they get a little boring and they're easy to dry out. So this recipe is gonna give you a flavorful, tender chicken breast that will blow your mind away. The first thing we wanna do is preheat your oven to 325 Fahrenheit, which is 165 Celsius. We want to start next with the stuffing. So I have a nice bowl here. It's goat cheese stuffed chicken. So that's what we're going to start with. And five ounces, which is 140, 145 grams of plain goat cheese. Now I let this sit out at room temperature so it's nice and soft. Right in our bowl. Break that up a bit, get it started. To that, we want to add a little milk. You could use cream if you're feeling very posh. This is just two tablespoons of whole milk. That's going to help loosen it a little bit and come together as a better stuffing. I just want to get this started a little bit. This takes a little patience, but it's not difficult. As you smoosh it around, and that's the technical term, it will soak up that milk. Next up is cranberries. Dried cranberries, actually. I have four ounces, half a cup for your Americans, which weighs out to just 60 grams of dried cranberries. Right in our stuffing. Now we're just gonna mix this well to combine. And look how pretty it is. Like little rubies. All right, that's well mixed. I'm gonna set this aside, let that all rest. Next up is our chicken, but we need to prepare it a little bit. I have here four good size boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I've already got three of them ready to go. I'm just gonna do this last one for you. So here it is. We need to cut a little pocket. And you can take off if there's any little fat or gristle or anything, take that off. But we need a little, cut a little pocket for the filling. Sharp knife, always essential. Now I've patted this dry to make sure it's not slippery. Flat hand, and we're just gonna go right in. And we're gonna cut a straight line. Not all the way through, but so we get a nice pocket. And you can go, make it a little bigger if you need to, but you don't wanna go all the way through. Now we need to season this, and we want to season it inside and out. I have here a mixture, equal parts of salt, pepper, and poultry seasoning. Now you notice it's in a little dish because I'm touching raw chicken, and now nothing else will get contaminated. And we're going to season both sides and in the little pocket. All right, now we want to stuff this. Let's bring back our stuffing. You just need a spoonful. You don't want to overstuff. So you can just open the pocket, put it in, and do use your fingers. It will make it so much easier. Get plenty in there, but we don't need to overstuff because we don't want to have to hold this together with toothpicks. This will seal on its own and give us a nice little pocket of wonderful flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and do the others. All right, these are all stuffed. I'm gonna go wash my chickeny hands and then we're gonna get cooking. 
Here we are, I've cleaned up, washed my hands, washed my board, flipped it over. Now we're ready to cook. I've got a skillet heating here. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil. And we're just gonna heat this until it's shimmering. And it's already starting because my pan was nice and hot. I'm gonna put these in and we're gonna brown them just on one side. I'm gonna let these brown just on one side. It's gonna take about four to seven minutes. When they're ready, I'm gonna turn them over and then I'm gonna put them in the oven. Why am I not browning them on the bottom side too? When I put them in the oven, they're gonna to continue to brown in the oven. So I don't need to stand here and do it on my stove top. These are ready to be flipped. I'm gonna cut the heat. And we'll give them a little flip. Beautiful. Oh yeah. These are ready for the oven. Now I'm gonna bake them at 325 Fahrenheit. 165 Celsius until we reach an internal temperature of 155 Fahrenheit, which is 68 degrees Celsius. Now, once you reach that, pull it out of the oven, carryover cooking is going to take this chicken up to 160 Fahrenheit, which is around 71 Celsius. That carryover cooking is going to give you a moist and tender chicken breast. So it's off to the oven. Here we are, all out of the oven. Let's take a look. Beautiful. Get rid of this. Now these took about 15 minutes in my oven to reach 155, the temperature that we talked about. Now they've been resting for another five or seven minutes and now they're up to temperature. While they're resting, I had all these wonderful drippings left over in my pan, so I made a little white wine sauce with some wine and herbs, and I'll share that recipe with you another day. But you can make whatever type of sauce you'd like. Let's give it a little taste. This out of the way. I'm going to try this little one right here. And I'm gonna put some of this beautiful sauce on it. Luscious. There we go. Now let's cut this open so we can see how it looks inside. Beautiful, perfectly done. You can see all that stuffing, all that cheesy goodness in there. So let's have a little bite. Mm hmm Wow. I can't even. Chicken is super tender and moist because we didn't overcook it. And that stuffing, the tang from the, the goat cheese and the parsley and things in it, and the sauce, the sweetness of the cranberry, nice little pops. And wow, my mind is blown away. Now the sauce that I made had some wine in it. Today I'm enjoying a little Sauvignon Blanc. This wine isn't here. It's the same wine I put in that sauce. You always want to do that. Mmm. That's nice too. Alright guys, as always, if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell, and you'll get a new episode every single week. Now, while I go eat my dinner, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. So until next time, everyone, cheers.